you'll find that often in any project that you're working on, you'll have to add raster images that are, for example, derived from scanned images. These images won't be georeferenced to any location within your GIS. You'll have to anchor this data to the appropriate location on Earth using the GIS. This is called georeferencing. As you can see here, I've got a raster image that I've added. And at present, this, we don't know what this raster is actually projected to because it doesn't have a projection. It's a scanned image. So what you'll do is you will georeference this image to known locations on the surface of the Earth. I know, for example, that the scanned image applies to these data that you see in your screen now, so specific farm boundaries and roads. You georeference the raster using the georeference tools. Be sure that you have selected the raster that you would like to georeference. You then go to imagery and select the georeference tools. And all the tools available to you now appear within this toolbar. The first thing to do is that you would like to fit this image, which is currently much bigger than your extent, to the display. There it is. What you'll then do is you're going to add control points. For example, I want to add that outline of a farm boundary to this one here. I will do the same to this boundary down here. And you progress to do this many control points as you can add. It's always good to have multiple control points. You can have as few as three, but then once you warp or reproject your raster image, you might have some errors. So always aim for as many points that you can identify. So if you add more points, you can zoom in. So you go from the source to the target, and you add as many top points as you possibly can to ensure that your raster will eventually be projected appropriately. Once you have added all the control points that you wish to use, you can set the method of transformation, for example, the first order polynomial. This is the default. You can import control points as well if you have them. You can also have a look at how well your control points are in relation to the real location on Earth. For example, the source X and Y to the map X and Y, what the residual is in X and Y, and the overall residual. You, of course, want the root mean square error to be as small as possible. Once you're happy with all your ground control points, as you can see here, these are my original farm boundaries, and there's my raster underlying it. Here are my roads, and there are my underlying it, so these current control points seem to be suitable for georeferencing the raster. I can either save, which updates the, it's the existing image, or I can save as new. So when you say save as new, you will save to a new feature class, or you can simply save and save this information into the current file, which means that the raster that you have added to your map will now be georeferenced. As you can see here, this is my raster image, here are my farm outlines, my roads, and it appears that this particular image is now georeferenced. You can have a look at the statistics or the information of the layer. It is now in the same extent as your other layers and has a special reference of WGS 1984, which is the current project geographic coordinate reference system.